speech, may I respectfully invite the Master Strategist, the Governor of River State, His Excellency Yesum Ezewawike, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Grand Service Star of River State, Life Venture. My dear brother, the senator elect, the governor of the Boy State, commander of the Order of the Niger, the Grand Service Star of River State, fellow of Nigerian Society of Engineers, Engineer David Mwezi Umar. Your Excellency, the Senator elect of the Rivers West Senatorial District, Deputy Governor of River State, the Civil Service Star of River State. The Right Tribal Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the single service star of River State, Rat Travel Ibani Ikwian, the governor elect of Adia State, Professor Ngozi Mma Odo, the single service star of River State. The single senator Barnada Mpigi, Senator and Senator elect of River Southeast. Senator District, Distinguished Service Star of River State. Senator elect Chief Oluwero Yesu, representing Rivers East Senatorial District. The Zonal Chairman of what is remaining, Chief Dan O.C. Obi. The single service star of River State. The chairman of our party, strong party, only party you can trust in the state, Ambassador Desmond Akawo, the single service star of our great state. Chairman of our elders council, Chief Fernando Labraba, the single service star of River State. Former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Rat of Chibudom Muche, Order of the Federal Republic, Distinguished Service Star of River State. Other Distinguished Leaders, Chairman of the River State Traditional Rulers Council, and members of your council, the Parma Rulers of Okoron Order, and of course, the Parma Ruler of Roma Olo community, where we are today. The leader of the State House of Assembly, member of Assembly that are here, members of State Executive Council, the Chairman and Deputy Chairman of all the local government councils, our dear leaders that are here, let me congratulate and say to the management and staff of Okronodo Secondary School and the students and coppers that are all here, our dear mothers, mothers, wives, pioneer students of this great school, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Then Yama Uma Let me on behalf of the government and people of Great River State sincerely thank our special guest of honor, the governor of Ebony State, a senator elect, our good friend, who had agreed in spite of a short notice.
the honors to be the one to commission this very, very, very important school. Just like the Commission of Education said, this school was established since 1982. And of course, everybody who had been here before, you will know that it is not something to be acceptable. In fact, I'm surprised that the Ministry of Special Projects did not prepare to show the electronic description of this school, how it was, not picture, and how it is now. That's the only way we can appreciate what has been done. So it's just showing photography is not enough. I thought they were showing it and people would have watched from the beginning how this school was and what it is today. Just like when we are coming here, I was telling the governor that people forget easily. There was a time people packed out from Roma Hollow. There was no road. Is that not correct? There was no road. It was my first tenure. In fact, when I came here for campaign in 2014 leading to 2015, I told the people of this community, whom I only there were seven of this local government, I said, if you support me to be governor, one of the projects I will embark upon will be to reconstruct from Roma Domaya down to Roma Aolo. And I took it from Roma Aolo down to airport uh, road. So as we are coming, I said, Excellency the Governor, you know this world is something else. Nobody will ever remember how this road was. How I wish, as you are coming in, every day is shown. For those of you who are coming in, you now wonder how it is. Look at how populated this area is now. I feel proud. I feel I thank God Almighty that we have made our promise and we have fulfilled our promise. Promise made, promise uh, fulfilled. Today we are here to also fulfill the promise we have made. I have told people who care, and I want Nigerians to know, the electorates to know, the time has come when you must hold public officers accountable. Whatever promise you have made to people, make sure you fulfill those promises. Let nobody come again to begin to tell these stories. And when they tell these stories, they will not fulfill the promises. And then you will still give them the ears to listen to them. If you begin to do this, you will see that politicians will sit up and they know that when they make promise, they must fulfill that uh, promise. But when you make promise, they don't fulfill the promise. They still call you and begin to talk to you. And you sit down, waste your hours, waste your time to listen to them. If I made promise that I was going to do this road, and I didn't do the road, and then I come back to you, don't worry. The person that is coming after me will do it. Will you believe me? If me, eight years, I couldn't do it. Is it the person that is coming that will do it? So try and hold us accountable for every promise we have made. And that is why I find it difficult to hear people say that any party will win us in this state. I find it very difficult. Is it possible? No, let us tell ourselves the simple truth. Let's leave politics. How can you say a government, a party, that has fulfilled its promises to her people, to its citizens? And you see people coming to make promise that you don't know whether they will fulfill tomorrow. Even when they were here, they refused to fulfill it. Somebody said he did fly five, uh, five flyovers. And I asked them, can he name the five flyovers? Name them. And who are the contractors? Who did it at five flyovers? In eight years, I came from 2019 to now. I've done 12 flyovers. 
I'm not saying I've done, I, I can name them. If you start from Abali Flyover, you go to Rebisi Flyover, you go to Rum Kalabo Flyover, you go to Jerry uh, Joshua Flyover, you go to Rumola Flyover. Is it not true? You go to Rumoba Flyover, you go to Rumo Crossy, you go to Cronodo, you go to Rumo Africa. You go to Mbolara Waruko. You go to Rumo Kuta. You go to Mboka. Mention the one you did. So it's not I did. Mention. I know the flyover. Who did it? Jealous beggar. Don't be so. Jonas Berger is a contractor that did it. Go and find the best construction firm in this country. Is what? Jonas Berger. Ask my governor, how many state governments can use Jonas Berger to do road? You think twice. Somebody who said he did monorail and will pay 50 billion naira. 50 billion, is it in use today? And those are the kind of people you listen to to come and campaign to you. So, for me, I'm going in the next two months. Right? I should be sleeping, it's not correct. I should be resting, it's not. But I'm not. I still believe I owe you to the 29th of May when I will leave here. Tomorrow, we are going to Calabari to commission the first phase of Trans Calabari Road, which every politician has promised the people of Calabari. The last administration promised and promised. They didn't do it. I came, I promised, I have fulfilled it. So tomorrow we'll be there. This is what we call seeing is what? Believing. So, River State deserves the best. And that is why I said nobody will toy with our state. If you toy with our state, you toy with your destiny. Yes. Don't touch us. Don't touch the God's uh, anointed. River State is God's state. I've said it severely and I continue to say it. That's why those who thought they would play with us. I've them not been peppered now. When I told them we peppered them, they thought I was joking. Have you not peppered them? You say River State is nobody. I agree. Now we are somebody. We delivered our state. We won the three cities. We won 11 House of Reps. We won 32 of our 32 of House of Assembly. Them, ask them those who want to be chairman of this party. What do you have to give to the party now? Presidential election, you took bribe and lost in your unit, lost in your ward, lost in your local government, lost in your state. Which party will you preside over them? You preside the one me have given up. You come and preside over this state. So that we begin to donate money to the party. You bring your own party to our state, to, to the, bring your state to the party, so your state too can contribute money to the national. If you don't deliver your state, you can't preside over us. You cannot. Those of you who are fighting that they have suspended you, you have not seen anything yet. The fight has started. The fight has what? Started. He who says his mother will not sleep, will he sleep? Are you? The fight has just started. If you know him, tell him. Those of you who are close to him, tell him. In your child, are you? The fight has just uh, started. I thank God when we say you should resign. He refused to resign. But if you resign, 
and with the colossal failure of the performance of our party, we will have said because she resigned. Thank God, God hardened their mind. He refused to resign. And now look at the performance of the party. I thank God you stayed. Because if you have left one who says you leave, they would have used as an excuse. If I was there, many people would have done better. I thank God. Are you was there? What happened? What happened? Colossal failure. Look at somebody who did antipathy. He's suspending people. Chief priest of antipathy. The native daughter of antipathy is suspending those who have worked hard for this party. All of you who are joining are you, be prepared. Now I have no other job. The job I have now is to put more heat on them. And I'll continue to do that. They are running around calling every member of the National Workers Committee to come to Abuja to say no, that suspension is illegal. It does not lie in your mouth. If you like, let the National Secretary rush to Abuja. If you like, let the Deputy National Chairman not rush to Abuja. Let them meet this afternoon and say the suspension is illegal. <laughs> you will see what we you will see what you face. You will see what you face. You are calling us small boys. You see what small boys can do to you. So none of you should be worried with the campaign. So I thank all of you for coming out to support what we are doing. We are not tired. We could not to commission and flag off projects for the interest of the country. And let me use the word to thank all of you for putting sin in your phone. Without SIM, without the network, without SIM, without the network, that network now because that is a SIM. So I thank all of you. Don't mind people who cannot even win their compound unit. They say, you know, Ibu, we won. They change the result. And I hope that we won. They change everything, they change. Everything, they change. Even your own unit won, they change. Then allow the change to be. Let me therefore invite my brother, Governor, Senator Led, to come and talk to you and Commissioner Okonodo. Thank you and God bless you.